Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. And Oli Gunnar Solskjaer has reached the promised land. So, Oli's gonna, gonna do it. Do you like my title, right? Um, because I've been thinking, I was thinking of a title for a long time and I thought that kind of sounded like very kind of newspaper headline-y. So, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer is going to be the Manchester United manager for the rest of the season. That is now official. Now, look, this is a shit show, right? A shit show. Uh, the board had very little option. Um, the, who could they have brought in to the end of the season? There was talk of Zidane. Who knows how realistic that is? Richard Keyes reckons he was considering coming now, but he's going to take the job in June. I don't know who's coming in in the summer. And quite frankly, all I care about is the next five to six months. Um, there was very few ex-pros from Manchester United who'd have, who could have come in to do this job. Do you go for Steve Bruce? Steve Bruce is a, is a great man. He's a very nice gentleman, but he's also a very pragmatic manager. Well, we just got rid of a pragmatic manager. We don't want one. Uh, Paul Lynch is a traitor. Paul Lynch tried to get Sir Alex Ferguson sacked, then tried to bring Gigster into Milan. I don't want to hear Paul Lynch on talking about this situation and saying that these players are a disgrace. No, Paul, you were a disgrace, a great player, but a disgrace. Don't talk about our players. Our players have gone through a great ordeal in footballing terms. They've had a man who's bullied them come out in public after games, throwing them under the bus, telling them they're not good enough. I'm sorry. These players have every right to high-five each other. I mean, if Paul Pogba wasn't just posting some post that was always going to be posted from Adidas and he wanted to kind of say, yes, he's gone, so what? I don't care. Um, you know, these players have gone through an ordeal. So there are very few options to bring in till the end of the season because in recruiting Solskjaer and Mike Phelan, um, you know, this hasn't been done. So because these were the best people to kind of, you know, gain 20 points on Liverpool, win the league or gain 11 points on Spurs or Chelsea or whoever's fourth and get to fourth. This is about stabilising a volatile situation. So... They've just been brought in. I mean, Mike Phelan should never have been removed by David Moyes. It was outrageous. And by that, by Mike Phelan coming back, a right has been, a wrong, sorry, a wrong has been right. It, uh, you know, it's been corrected. A great man, a good coach. Uh, the players will like having him there. You know, these are two old friends. These are two people going to come in, keep things calm, say, come on, guys, let's go out there. And enjoy yourselves. You know, give something back to the fans. Um, how will this work out? I don't know. All I know is um, we're all just expecting Oli to come in for the next six months and just plod it out and see what happens. But what a great opportunity for Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Because if he was to do the impossible, then I'm sorry, you'd have to consider him. Obviously, Ed Woodward would have to consider if he is successful, is it just a kind of knock-on effect from this black cloud being lifted from the club uh, within the removal of Jose Mourinho, or is it because of him? There's some people saying that really it's um, Mike Phelan who's going to be doing all the heavy lifting and Solskjaer's just there for someone for the fans to focus on. Uh, a feel-good factor, I don't know. I think, I think, I, I think that's a bit disrespectful to Oli. Um, Oli's done a great job with Mould um, over in Norway um, because they're not the dominant club in that league and they're starting to do really well in that league. So that's a great achievement. Obviously, the Cardiff situation was a very, very um, difficult situation, um, a difficult thing for him. He didn't achieve much there. He won three games, um, difficult situation. So I don't think anyone really expects, expects a lot from Oli, but... Anything can happen. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was my favourite player. Um, he's the one I had posters up. He's the one I felt safe with when he used to come on the pitch as a substitute. You knew he'd do something. Um, so in terms of having very little options, he's the best option. And bringing Mike Phelan in is a good option. But as I said on the top of the show, this is this is a shit show. Um, you know, they're just trying to repair the damage of their mistakes, of these free managers that have come in, but everybody makes mistakes. It's about learning from those mistakes. It's about getting a good director of football, bringing in a good manager, a good head coach in, because that's what it's going to be. 
it's, it seems to me now who's running the show, Sir Alex Ferguson, Sir Bobby Charlton, um, David Gill. I think those are the people behind the scenes unofficially making the decisions now. And I think what will happen now is that Edward Wood will do the business stuff, which he's really good at. And these guys will do the other stuff, the footballing stuff. Um, I suppose you could say Sir Alex and David Gill are now kind of the unofficial directors of football until they get a proper one in. Um, in terms of bringing in players in January, well, it's interesting. If we do get a, a, a sporting director, a director of football in, I think that can happen because a director of football is the one who does the recruiting. Um, in terms of Jose Mourinho complaining about the scouting system, well, as a manager, you can bring in your own scouts. You don't have to keep what's there. Sir Alex Ferguson always brought in his own scouting system and developed that. Um, so you can't blame the club. You know, as I said yesterday, the reason Ed Woodward or any chief executive appoints a football manager or a head coach is so he's not running team affairs. That's the whole point. Um, so blaming Ed Woodward, blaming the board for bad scouting and things like that, it, it doesn't make sense for me. Now, it's all about Saturday. Now, ideally, we would have had a home game where Ollie would have had a great reception, uh, but that's not going to happen. Um, he's got a tough game at Cardiff. His ex-club, I hope they give him a good reception as well. Um, I know he didn't do great there, but he tried his best. A few Cardiff players have come out and said he's a, a very nice man. But so you don't know about Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. He might, he might have that soft, friendly smile, but he's also, uh, he's a little bastard. Um, he will get performances. He will de demand performances. And this could be the perfect storm. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer could do something really special. You've got to understand, Saint, these, player, these players are now going to be unshackled. So they're going to have a freedom. They're going to be happy. I want you to imagine the worst boss you've ever had. I used to have a few arsehole bosses. And when it was their day off, I used to come into work with a smile on my face. I used to do my best work. And this is what's going to happen now. You know, because these players have been accused of some pretty hideous stuff. Not trying, um, fraying in the town, not playing for this manager. I think they were playing to the best of their ability. But when you're shackled in a system like he was playing, it's no good. Um, now, he may have won a load of trophies, but you can't have a manager still destabling the players, destabling the board, talking negatively about the club, telling players publicly to the media that you're not good enough. That's not how it works. Now, he comes from this old school of shaming players to get better performances. But when it wasn't working, he should have realised it. In terms of the board... They were, they were wrong. You either bring in someone like this and you let him bring, you know, buy specialist players to play his way or you boot him out. I still say it was the club who booted his assistant out. Something must have kicked off. And that's why he wasn't even allowed to bring in a new assistant. And um, that was interesting. So I think Edward Wood and the board were preparing for his exit. I just feel they didn't want to be this sacking club. They gave him enough time to change, to to do the right things, not necessarily change, but to build a great side. Now, it's obvious, isn't it? He had free, was it free transfer windows? He had every opportunity, but this year he became erratic. He wanted to buy older players and it's not the United way. Now, surely, right, when they interviewed him for the post, they said, listen, Jose, we know you do this and that, but we want, we want, we want young players playing. We want you to buy um, players at the right age. So surely there must have been a handshake about that. So, look, I don't know what happened. I think Martin Tyler, the commentator on Sky, said a great thing. I, I think that Jose should talk to someone. He, he's clearly not happy. There's clearly a bigger issue. No one has ever said that before. And I, I thought he spoke the best, you know, about players being blamed, that it's not right to blame the players. You know, as a manager, you've got to create a good working environment. And Jose Mourinho didn't do that. But moving away from Jose, I am happy. When I first, when I did my reaction yesterday to the sacking, I said that I wouldn't particularly be happy with Oli, but I thought about this. Very few options for the club to the end of the season. You can't bring in the manager you want, you want now, whether it's the guy at Spurs, Pochettino, whether it's the guy at Bournemouth. You know, this is what's going to happen now. No one's going to let their managers go now. Um, for me, it's interesting with the Zidane rumour because he's free to come now and he's chosen not to do that. Either he doesn't want to take over now, um, I don't know. Um, maybe they're telling the truth that they haven't decided on who's going to come in, but maybe they have. Who knows what's going on? But what we know is 
We've got Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. We've got um, Mike Phelan. And they've got a big job to do this Saturday. Let's hope they can win. Let's hope they can score some goals. Um, Cardiff are not the best team. Uh, they've got a good manager and they will, will play their hearts out. So it's not going to be an easy game. I believe we, would have, we wouldn't have won this game under Jose. Things just would have got worse and worse and worse. And I think we just would have dropped down the table. The reality is here, we've still got a whole season ahead of us. There is so much to play for. You know, this is a job Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has always wanted. So here's an opportunity to take himself from a manager at Mould to doing something really amazing with Manchester United. He's got good players. He just has to motivate them and, you know, get them playing. And that may not be the easiest thing in the world, but he's coming from a situation where nobody expects anything from him already. So whatever he does will be a bonus. Um, they keep on showing this old video when he was at Cardiff and they, and they asked him about his opinion of Liverpool's title changes. And he goes, well, to be honest, I couldn't care less. You know, that ingratiates him to the fans already. There are fans who don't want him at the club. There are you know, our fans who are going, why don't why we just throw money at Pochettino now? Why don't we throw money at Zidane? Obviously, it's not doable now. So they brought in someone who, from who's from the club's past. He was a great player for us. Who most I know the good fans will support him, and I think I think it is vital that we get a good win. Um, it's, it's it's something we should expect. We're Manchester United. We're playing Cardiff. You know, as I say. The players now have an opportunity to tell the world, you know what? It wasn't us. It was this guy. I mean, Mourinho's still whispering to journalists, making up his excuses, but I don't care anymore. I know it was Mourinho. I know he was the problem. So I don't care what he's got to say. He's gone. He's had to sign some kind of contract to get his 25 mil. He's got to keep his mouth shut, just like he did at Chelsea. He's not going to come out and say anything. Maybe he'll have an autobiography one day and try and throw everyone at United under the bus, but I don't care. At the end of the day, I love United. I trust these players. I don't feel let down by these players. I feel let down by this manager. At the end of the day, it's a clean slate. I'm happy. I'm happy to, you know, put my faith in these players again. Mourinho was a mistake. He's now gone. Credit to the club for getting rid of him. Now I'm not waiting till the end of the season. I think... It's, it's a great situation for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, as I say. You know, he's got his dream job. Obviously, Sir Alex Ferguson has gone to him and said, you know, I believe you can do this. Um, and really, the old guard is back and running Manchester United. Whether it can work or not, in the 11th hour, it is the 11th hour. We've wasted the first half of the season, but we've got the whole of the second half of the season. We've got PSG waiting for us. PSG are a very good side, but so are we. When we play the right team and when they play the right way. We've now got a management team in place that can get good performances out of these players. It doesn't matter what Oli did or didn't do at Cardiff. That's the past. You know, Sir Alex Ferguson was at St Mirren. I'm sure he didn't do brilliantly at St Mirren. He did okay. But you know what I mean? So all managers have gone to a club and not done well before. At the end of the day, I like Oli. He's a calm guy. He'll speak logic. He will not come in and be negative. So I think this is a great move for the club. And what I say is bring on Cardiff this Saturday.